to go show. The Stood on Waterhead Academy broadcast. With five minutes to go before the weekend starts. Let's recall all the events of the Academy this week. And share news and views for the next. My name is Rukman. And I'm Paige. On this week's show, we meet the winners of the triathlon, dine at the Old Mill restaurant, catch up on our Christmas shoeboxes, speak to new members of staff, and finally, the pause. Last week, 30 superhumans rode, ran, and cycled their way to become house triathlon champions. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. With the distance, now I'm back on my feet. Just a man and his will to survive. So many times, it happens too fast. You trade your passion for glory. Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the On Monday, March the 4th, the Academy's Old Mill restaurant opened to exemplary students. To tell us more, we spoke to Mrs Fisher and Luke Sprague. Every lunchtime we provide silver service to 12 students with character combinations. It's brilliant, but you need good table manners or else you'll spoil these white tablecloths. Why are you worrying? You've already shown good manners in school, that's why you're here. That's true, it's cool. At Christmas, you may remember you filled 133 boxes with gifts. Where did they go? The Five to Go show invited head girl Neil Khan to tell us. The shoeboxes went to an orphanage in Serbia. Luckily for us, photographs of the children opening their presents were taken. Here are a selection of them. Four new teaching staff are joining the school after Easter. Following a rigorous assessment of suitability, we gave them an interview of our own. Blue. Blue. Pool. Beach. Coffee. Tea. EastEnders. EastEnders. Ant. Deck. Coke. Home. Abroad. Sun. Sun. Harry. Harry. iPhone. iPhone. The Academy can be such a busy place with all that we do. Sometimes we just need to stop and reflect on the world around us. Sometimes we just need to pause. We're about to break for the Easter holidays and let me start off by wishing you all a great break and holiday. The Easter holiday is a major Christian festival remembering the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And for us in Wadhead Academy, that's a big event for Christians. For all the Muslims in the Academy, the big event of this year has been Eid. And that's interesting because there are parallels between the Christian Easter and Eid because both remember a sacrifice being given for other people. Abraham was asked to sacrifice Isaac, but instead of having to sacrifice his son, a ram was there in place. And Eid is about a celebration and memory of that journey, that major journey that Abraham and Isaac did. For the Christians, we remember Jesus Christ dying for the sins of the world and coming back to life on Easter Sunday. You, of course, might not have a faith in God at all, but the common theme for Easter and Eid at this time of year is sacrifice, about putting others in front of yourself, about thinking of others 
instead of yourself, about giving instead of getting. So whatever your faith, as we come to our Easter holiday, why don't we think about that and pause? Is this world and is this life all about what I can get? Or is there something better and deeper in being a human being? Because we give to other people, sacrificially, instead of simply wanting to get. Have a good Easter holiday. Thank you, Mr O'Clyde. Finally, what to look out for in the coming weeks? The Chef Factor and the House Rugby will take place after Easter. So will the Year 8 exams. And what happened to the metal blinds adorning the school building after one flew off? They were all removed and taken to the manufacturers for testing. That's all from us. Thanks for watching. It's Zero to Go from the Five to Go show. Goodbye. Goodbye. Terrorists. They do the Harlem shit.